I want to give you five reasons why you should stop using the words. I'll try any man out there. Stop using these, those words. I'll try number five time management. Being decisive helps you manage your time and your priorities. So when you say no, that's something that you don't even have to worry about anymore. You considered it, but you had to say no to it. So now you can prioritize the things that are important. So if you said yes to them, to, to something that someone asked you to do or commitment, now it's something that's, that's a priority. You put it in your schedule. You made a commitment to do it. And there's no reason to say I'll try because you've committed to doing it already. Number four, avoiding excuses gives you the ability to not take responsibility. When you say no, obviously that says you don't want to be a part of that situation or whatever is going on. But when you say yes, you're taking responsibility. You're saying that I'm willing to do this thing. I'm willing to be a part of it. Gives you a way to wiggle out of things. You know, when you email somebody, I'll try. You know, you're not going to give it 100%. So it really gives you the opportunity to have an excuse. So stop saying I'll try and you won't have the ability to have an excuse. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. Number three, self-confidence. When you say I'm going to do it, it exudes confidence. It shows the other person that you're on board, that you're going to give it your all, that you're going to put your full effort and your full ability into doing it. On the other hand, saying I'll try, it makes it seem like you're not confident. I don't really want somebody to tell me if I ask them to do something that's important and say, I'll try. I already know what that means. You're not going to give it a hundred percent. You can always come up with an excuse and you're not really confident on doing it in the first place. So either say no or say you're all in, but I'll try really shows people that you really don't have self-confidence in doing whatever they're asking you to do. Number two, when you say I'll do it and then you consistently go ahead and do the things that people ask you to do, that builds trust with people. People know when they give you a task, they give you a job, they give you, you know, a situation to handle, it's in good hands. But when you say I'll try, it just gives the, gives the, it just gives the vibes that you're not confident that you can accomplish this thing. And then when you don't, your credibility and your trust with that person goes down. You would have been better off just saying, no, I don't have the skills or I don't have the time or whatever to do that thing. Instead of saying, I'll try. Anytime you're doing business with somebody and they'll tell you, you know, I'm going to give my best effort. I'll try, try to find somebody else that's confident to say that they can do it. If they fall short, Hey, that's life. But going with somebody that's just going to tell you that they'll try. That's not good enough. And those are words that us as men, we shouldn't use either. It's yes, I can do it or no. The number one reason you should stop using the phrase I'll try is you want to clarify and commit to whatever you do as a man. So when you say I'll try, it comes off like vague or ambiguous. You're really not giving a definitive answer. You know it and I know it. You might look into it. You might give it a glance, but you're not going to give it 100%. So either say no or say yes and commit to it. But either way, you want to clarify and commit to whatever direction you want to go and just get out of the habit of saying, I'll try. Because anything you want to do, you're going to do it. You're going to give your 100%. Saying I'll try is basically telling somebody I'm not going to give you 100%. I'm going to whatever I feel like doing or as much effort I feel like doing on that day, I'm going to give you. But it's definitely not going to be 100%. And that's just not the way to conduct yourself. That's just not the way that you want to be known that as a guy that doesn't give 
when he commits to something, he doesn't give 100%. So those are the top five reasons we need, as men, we need to stop using the phrase, I'll try. Wipe it out of your vocabulary. Don't text it. Don't email it. Don't say it to anybody. Either tell them, no, I can't do it. I'm busy. Whatever the reason might be, or commit to doing it and give 100%. And if you got any value from this video right here, check out our playlist of the rest of our videos here on the Raising Carter podcast. I'm your host, Ramon Weatherall, senior, and I'm out of here.